Every kid I've ever seen using a hammer for the first time does the same thing. And if you've ever seen a young kid using a hammer for the first time, you've no doubt thought, there has to be a better way. And you'd be right. There is. Before we learn today's lesson from the hammer, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and also share with a friend. Hey, today we'll uh, hammer home some truths that'll help you. So grab a cup and lift it up as we jump in. You know, kids learning to use a hammer always want to hold the handle with their hand very close to the head of the hammer. And they feel like they have more control over it that way. They think it makes it easier to use. They're wrong. Now, there may be a more socially sensitive way to put it, but it won't change anything. They're still wrong. Today's verse says, to learn... You must love discipline. It's stupid to hate correction. Hmm. It's stupid to keep using a hammer that way. If someone shows you the right way. Now, stupid is not a condition. It's a deliberate choice to disregard wisdom. The word dumb might accurately refer either to someone who's unable to speak or to someone with limited intelligence. But the word stupid is neither of those things. And I know your, your parents may have taught you that it's not kind to call someone stupid. And they were right. But the Bible doesn't say you're stupid if you hate correction. It says it is stupid to do so. And note the difference, because it's an important one. We can choose to change our choices and how we choose to react is one of them. So how do you learn to use a hammer properly? Well, perhaps the best way is to watch how an expert uses it and follow their example. Yeah, you've never seen an experienced carpenter building a house by holding a hammer next to the head and driving nails with little small taps. It takes time and practice to learn the proper method and to develop the necessary strength. No one learns to properly use a hammer without time and practice. But you can sure learn a great deal working with a skilled carpenter if you choose to listen carefully and follow corrective instruction. Hey, learn to love discipline. Decide to embrace correction willingly and benefit from it. It may take some time and practice, but I guarantee you, It'll be very worthwhile in the long run. It is stupid to hate correction. Really, it is. It's also stupid to insist that the wrong way is better simply because it seems easier right now. <laughs> and it's beyond stupid to call the wrong way the right way. That's destructive. However, accepting the advice of a world-class expert will dramatically increase your skill, your capabilities, and your performance. Hey, to that end, I'd like, you, I'd like to introduce you to this Jewish carpenter I know. <laughs> hey, that's all the time we have for today, but before I go, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Please like this video to help more people see it. And click follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every day. If you click the link in the description, you'll get a free copy of my book, Count to One. Hey, one more thing. Share this video with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team helping share the love of Christ all over the world. Thanks for helping.